Aloha, y'all. Welcome back to Pete's Treasures. Yesterday, I went with my husband, Matthew, and my mom to the outdoor flea market in Canton, Texas. Once a month, actually four days a month at the beginning, they have trade days, which is basically an outdoor flea market with lots of vendors. And, you know, we tend to gravitate towards the vintage goods. And today is a haul of everything we got. Uh, before we get started, please subscribe if you haven't. And if you like this content, give us a thumbs up. So let's get into it. Um, first, let's start with the books. I got really good deals yesterday. This says Handy Helps for Halloween. <laughs> well, that's the real name for Halloween. Um, anyways, this is from 1932. I got it for $2. Super excited because I don't find Halloween items that old very often. Um, and I love vintage Halloween. Um, look, it has plays in which they wrote children's names. It has stories and poems. And I just think it's super, super cool. I need to look it up, but otherwise I think I'll keep it. This was a dollar, a woodland circus. And I just thought it was very interesting because it has these photographs. A little orchid came as a ram. And these like weird sayings. I don't know, like someone put it together. It's from 1962. Really, really cool. For me, at least. I love this. This was $2.75. Songs for Swingin' House Mothers. Look at that artwork. Absolutely love it. Um, and yeah, it's just a bunch of songs. The Foggy Foggy Dew. Scotland's Burning. And I, I know a lot of these classic songs, but I don't know Glorious Beer. Did y'all see that? Anyways. <laughs> Rex the Piddlin' Pup. Oh, my. Anyways, the cannibal maid and her Hottentot blade. Oh, my goodness. I need to go through this whole book and look at the songs. Don't think I can sing them in my classroom. Anyways, moving right along. By the way, uh, stay to the end because I have a really cool item to show you. I'm saving the best for last, y'all. Uh, I love shiny pottery, and I don't think I have a reference book. This was actually only a dollar, which is a steal for this type of book. You know, sometimes I see them between like 10 and 20 at antique malls at least. But this was no antique mall, and that's a great price. So anyways, a dollar. Now, I was extremely excited about this one because, you know, I've been into Pyrex and just kitchenware in general. And to find a book about children's dishes is super, super cool. Um, especially because I always see people post about this little miniature Pyrex children's set. I hope one day to find that in the wild. This was just a dollar. And it actually shows the Pyrex set in here. Um, and yeah, I just love glassware. So this is actually going to be fun to look through for me. I'm like, oh, look at those. And um, I'll tell you a little story. Uh, in a little bit about this. Um, it might be this, but it looks very similar. So yeah, a dollar for the children's dishes. Love picking me up some good books. Do I have room on my shelves? No, not really. <laughs> so this is something I've been wanting for a long time. I see them at antique malls all the time. Um, this is in pristine condition. It is Galaxy True Fruit Flavored Black Cherry Syrup. Um, Space Century. Anyways, all the keywords. 1953. I haggled $1.50 off because that's reasonable. $15 is actually a great price um, for something like this, especially for the condition. I see it go from $20 to $30. Even on eBay, it's consistently selling for $25 plus like $12 shipping. I guess because it's glass. Anyways, this is from my own personal collection. It's very mid-century atomic age, and I just love it. Um, but a cool thing is, a cool story, the guy who was selling it said that him and his partner got a case of them. Um, and, I, and they said, we might even still have the box because you just got the last one. And I'm like, what? I want it. And I got it. Look how cool this box is. 
So it comes in different colors. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've ever seen these before or if you grew up with it. Um, yeah, I I wish I could ask my dad. Um, he was born in 54, um, but he passed. But anyways, not to be a Debbie Downer. I'm just saying I wonder if he ever had this as a kid or how popular it actually was. But um, yeah, home syrups for soft drinks. I just love having the box. She gave it to me for $5, and I know, what am I going to do with it? It's just amazing to me. Um, I think I'm going to use it as a display. Oh, yep. One Dozen Pint Bottles, Space Foods Company, Baltimore, Maryland. Love it. So for the box and the bottle, 20 bucks. Um, I think that's awesome. Here, I'm going to place this on the table. Let's get to the soda pop bottles. So my brother at Nick Neck Twin Attack, um, <laughs> that's his YouTube channel. I suggest you go give him a subscribe and uh, check out his videos. He collects soda pop bottles. Um, and I like that too. I just never started a collection. Well, now I've kind of, you know, I was going to say popped that cherry. Is that PC? Oh my goodness. Maybe I'll edit that out. Anyways, I got these for a dollar. Look at it. Thirsty? Just Whistle. Super, super cool for a dollar. I should have picked up more, but I did pick up two. Um, most of these I picked up two. One to keep, one to sell. And obviously a second to sell in case the first one does really well. Um, I'm a music teacher, so this is right up my alley. And actually, I didn't see any of these bottles except for like a really, really, really old one on eBay. But the advertising goes really high depending on what it is. Uh, this one I thought was really cool. I actually got this for $4. Corker. The okay refresher. <laughs> it's not great. It's just okay. <laughs> a better mixer. A corking good drink. I just love that. So yeah, it was half off. Uh, carbonated water. Uh, so it looks like it's, you know, uh, like Sprite kind of. One to keep, one to sell. These. You know, Tab is out of business now, or they don't make Tab anymore as of late. Um, this is a vintage bottle, obviously. Look at those Starbursts. Charles Phoenix would say, I know. How much do we love? <laughs> um, anyways, a dollar each for four. I couldn't believe I got that at a dollar each. I thought since, I don't know, mid-century and atomic Starbursts are very popular right now, I thought they would be more expensive. Um, <laughs> Bode's Sodes, or is it Bodie's Sodies? I just love it regardless. None on eBay. So I might list it high because someone might be looking for it. Um, two dollars. One to keep, one to sell. And last for the bottles, three star party pop. I actually forgot to look this one up, so we will see. Really, really cool. A dollar fifty. I thought it was interesting. I always love picking up interesting labels. All right, just a couple more glassware items. We have sold a bunch of these before. I found a set of eight at a thrift one time. I'm sure it's in one of my throwback thrift hauls. But anyways, raise your hand. Oh my gosh, raise your hand. I'm such a teacher. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you've been to Luby's. I don't know if it's just a Texas thing. No, surely not. But anyways, love the, the boomerang and the little starburst. And this is a 60th anniversary glass from Coca-Cola. And I got it for $2, so since I've sold them in the past, I just had to get them. Plus, I love how it looks. This is actually just a dollar, and it's from Hobby Lobby. But I really like how this carafe looked. Um, and I've done well with carafes, so... Gonna keep it? No, I'm gonna sell it. All right, let's move on. So Matthew is my partner in crime, of course, and he always likes to do the haggling. I dabble in it, but, you know, sometimes I'm like, can you go over there and haggle, please? And he is such a good sport and just does it for me so I can keep shopping. <laughs> These were just so colorful and new in package. Republic's Freezettes. How cool. 69 cents, fair trade price for the refrigerator or freezer food storage. Guaranteed unbreakable. And look at that, 1956. Super cool. They had um, $5 on it. And I from the same guy, I had this. Phospho Soda from Fleet. Buffered laxative. I'm totally going to make my tiki drinks and use this as a measuring 
um, cup. Um, really, really cool. Don't even know how much it's worth, but I love old apothecary type things. This was six, but let me tell you what we really got for it. And I liked this little tiny measuring cup for $4. I like how this, it, it's, it's like a shot glass, but I like how it has a little spout. Anyways, total, this would have been 15, but we got $3 off, so basically a dollar off. So I like to consider that we got $4 a piece. So awesome. Uh, here's something else we haggled on. Because Canton, um, everyone in the Dallas area just calls it Canton. Um, and it was such a nice day out. Oh my gosh, probably the best weather we have ever had when going to Canton. Um, it's a lot of walking and that helped a lot. This is a Sanka coffee mug. Really, really cool. Made in Japan. It's dirty on the inside. Don't judge me. Um, but anyways, it was also in a booth with this. Really, really cool. I love fish things. The squeaker is not working. Matthew cleaned it up a little bit. Y'all, this is from 1956. I got a lot of stuff from the 50s. Let's see if I can get the label. The Sun Rubber Company, actually 1955. So yeah, um, instead of $5, we got $2 off. So I got $5 for both. So thank you, Matthew, for haggling. Um, <laughs> male Chauvinist Pig Bank. It kind of reminds me of um, Fitz and Floyd. It does not have the stopper. Matthew got it for $3. It's definitely to sell. And it's from Norcrest. I've heard of Norcrest before. Crafted in Japan. And I thought that was an interesting find. Um, these I got for a dollar total. This, I recognized, it is Tokidoki from a blind box soy milk. Isn't it cute? Have you seen me? I don't know. These can actually go for about 6 to $8 um, free shipping. And obviously, it doesn't cost a lot to ship. But I'm going to keep. And this, y'all, I was so happy to find this. I had this as a kid. It's a cereal box prize. It's dirty. Um, but I think it glows in the dark. Or you freeze it and it turns color. Maybe it turns color in the cold milk. I don't remember. But to find this, I've actually looked it up on eBay. Um, I was just so happy, and it was very nostalgic for me. Um, and then I had this Little Miss Girl from Arby's. It's really hard to see, but trust me. There we go. It's from Arby's from the 70s or 80s. I, f I forget which one, but that's what I saw on an eBay listing. Really, really cute. And next, I got this totem. Love those teeth. My brother got a, a mask similar to that. Um, I got this for $5. Now, I don't think it's tiki per se, but I just love it. And they gave my mom an olive wood cross. Uh, they threw it in for free. So I basically got it for maybe $4. Um, now, speaking of nostalgia, <laughs> nostalgia. I used to drink Five Alive with my grandma. She used to have these cans of concentrate, and I guess Snow Crop is the brand. Um, I have looked for Five Alive cans and things like that, and I've only ever found them on eBay. Just because I like, you know, I've talked about this before, retro food labels and collectibles, and I've always wanted a can of Five Alive. Well, apparently they still sell it in Canada, and you can buy juice boxes. But I wanted the old-timey canned concentrate like we used to eat or drink. <laughs> and I found this. It is this golden. It's probably not real gold. It's like brass. It's super heavy. Um, this little plaque. Like, what the heck? I couldn't believe I found something like this. Because I've always looked for a Five Alive, I don't know, memorabilia. This, I think, I don't think a piece of fruit is missing. I think that's where they hung it up because there's this thing on the back. And look at this. This stable was designed especially for the sales force of Coca-Cola Company Foods Division, 1980. 41 years ago. Oh my gosh, I got it for 15. Um, it was 20, but I did not mind paying that. Um, I got these toys. First of all, I love anthropomorphic things. And I had this as a kid, and it's pretty popular. But I found it new and packaged, so I got it for a dollar. Super cute. Um, and this was really interesting. Um, 
Matthew worked at Tokyo Disney Sea. So not only do I love Japan, but this is an Epcot Center Mini in Japan. And it's from 1993, I believe. And I just thought that was super cute for a dollar. Now this, we took $5 off because Matthew haggled. <laughs> um, it's actually not worth as much as we thought, but it is new in package. It's Snap, Crackle, and Pop. The Breakfast Bunch. Bean Bag Breakfast Bunch. Say that 20 times fast. Anyways, I love it. Like I said, I love food products. <laughs> Moving right along, this is a cast iron little bottle cap. Bottle, bottle opener. There you go. Um, and it goes on the wall, and it'll fit our little tiki bar area. Super cute for $2. Uh, this... <laughs> It's dirty. Don't look in it. You can't look at it. There's a little chip, but it's a little tiny bird, but it looks so weird. It's actually Nortaki, Japan, which is a great brand. It almost has this um, lusterware. Oh, I'm so glad I remember the name. I always forget the word lusterware. And it's a little ashtray, super tiny. I mean, can you picture smoking your cig and then putting it out in this little tiny bird? Anyways, I collect open mouth things. I know that's weird, but anyways, it goes with my collection, <laughs> you know, like frogs and other things. I have this, yeah, anyways, moving along. Uh, this is very commonplace, but I don't have one. It is a tiki from Coco Joe's, and yeah, very common uh, artifact souvenir from Japan, and it says Hawaii, um, I mean from Hawaii, um, but anyways, Coco Joe's. When you find it, pick it up if it's a good price. And I think they also go well in a lot, but it's for us. You know, don't we all need a container to put our hot dogs in? I know I do. Looks like you can fit 10. Hot diggity dog. Did you look at that? Anyways, it's not vintage. I just thought it was cute. So sue me. All right. So the same guy who was selling this stuff told me about this called ArcoWare. There's no brand, but this was $5. He was super nice. And check out our Canton vlog. I made a vlog of our trip to this place, and it should be coming out soon. And I let him tell the story. Basically, marbles used to be made out of this material, and they started making little tiny planners and uh, children's dishes. So really, really cute, and it pairs perfectly with this book. And it even has information about it in there. And I can't wait to check out more information about that. These are real antlers. They had a sale, five for $10. And um, yeah, our dogs, you know, we have three dogs. They, they chew on them for a long, long, long time. And I just don't understand how, because they're like hard as rocks. But anyways, that's a great price for antlers. Look at this cute little salt and pepper shaker. It is like, not pewter, but you know, silvery. And gosh, the little faces are so cute. Can you imagine using this as a little salt and pepper shaker? Oh, that kind of looks wrong, y'all. Give us a like. Um, anyways, made in Japan. I think the little cork is still in there. I wish it had the other ones, but it was $2, but I haggled it down to $1.50. Um, I got this for 50 cents. It's dirty. Actually, this is not dirt, but it will come off. Um, but this is a vintage Salem tricorn. Very popular, especially in my mid-century groups. I actually have an advertising, uh, little dish just like this, okay? Um, which you can see in one of my prior hauls probably a year ago. Um, I don't know. This is just like a little saucer. I doubt it's like a, um, coaster, Maybe it is a coaster or a little tiny dessert canapé plate. All right, enough of that. 50 cents was a great deal, and I just love the look. Now, for $2, these do not have matches, but I love it. Hamburgers with Hunt's tomato sauce. Recipe inside. Let's see if there's a recipe. Oh, yeah, for those fancy pants hamburgers. Oh, yeah, if you want to make this recipe... Go ahead and screenshot. All right. But I love the back, too. Hunt's peaches. Heavenly Hunt's peaches. Uh-oh. Did the peaches got die and go to heaven? 
hunt for the best. Amen. That's what we do here at Pete's Treasures. Um, I love this. Um, let's see. Oh, it's a food store one. Uh, luscious, ripe, ripe and ragged, chunky pineapple from Hawaii. Love this so much. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I love ephemera like this. Okay, including parking, we spent exactly $200. But this doesn't look like $200 worth of stuff, does it? Oh, well, I hope you stay to the end of this video. And let's see what we got. I can't wait to show you. You want to show them what we got, Benjamin? You want to show them what we got, Henry? Y'all, feast your eyes on these waffles. How you like those waffles? <laughs> we got this at the, at the beginning, and you'll see on our Canton vlog coming up. I was so excited. At first, I did not see the little syrup. Well, on the back side, I'm like, is that a tall pyramid-like looking kitschy lamp, kind of like that one. But no, 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 no. It is some waffles, y'all. What have we been buying lately? I absolutely love it. It's very pop art. Um, there's actually an artist from New York. Actually, it's in New York of a giant waffle. So I want to know more information about it. At first, the lady said 80, and then Matthew said, would you take 20? And she said, yes. So it comes apart in two pieces, and we both had to carry it all the way back to the car. I am sore today, y'all, from carrying this thing. Oh, Also, it just told me I'm out of shape. I guess I'll just eat my waffles. This is almost five foot tall. I think it's four foot eight inches. And I don't know. I would say it's a sculpture, but what do you think it went for? Or where do you think it came from? Perhaps it was at a putt-putt mini golf thing. Perhaps someone constructed it for a prom where they were serving waffles. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I don't know. I am just so curious. Don't you wish you could be a fly on the wall and let it tell your tell its story? Gosh, it's so sturdy. The lady said it was a fountain, but we don't think so. We think she just thought it was a fountain because there's PVC piping in the middle to keep it, you know, the, to keep the inside structure sturdy. But anyways, I wish I knew the story. But who doesn't need a big old thing of waffles? And I just love how it looks with these colors. See the lamp? I think it looks great. Thank you for sticking around to the end. And let me know in the comments what you think about this. Or if you somehow know more information. The honey reminds me of Winnie the Pooh for some reason. It might not stay there. In fact, I know it won't stay there in front of the window. But I just absolutely love it for $60. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Please subscribe if you have not. Check out our content. Our channel is growing. If you know somebody who likes these types of videos, please share our channel. Oh, and one more thing. I got to meet... A subscriber for the first time um, named Iris. So shout out to you, Iris. So cool to meet someone who watches our videos. And we really appreciate the support. Keep digging for treasure because it's not hoarding. If you at least try to sell it. Right, Benjamin? Right, Benjamin? We love everybody. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.